Hello, I'm Cindy Edwards from PR Media Now. Today, we are discussing the rapidly growing plant-based milk industry. To do that, we are joined by Sunny Gernani and Michael Yang of Vancouver's Plant Veda. Plant Veda products have a balanced amount of nutrients from a proprietary blend of cashews, oats, and real fruit, and it's sweetened only by Canadian maple syrup. Plant Veda is currently available in over 100 select retailers, including Whole Foods and other premium grocery partners with plans for rapid U.S. and international distribution. Michael and Sonny, thank you both for joining us today. Thank you, Sonny. So, Sonny, I'm going to start off with you. Tell us about Plant Veda and what led you to create these plant-based milk products. Uh, so it has been a it has been a good amount of time uh, since now. It has been close to nine nine and a half years. Uh, we were visiting a restaurant, uh, uh, and uh, at there it was a small play card about how the cows are treated in the uh, dairy industry. And uh, looking at that play card, I was very surprised because I became vegetarian close to ten years before that uh, because of ethical reasons. And I was like, there is a cruelty in dairy industry. I never, I never knew about it. And then uh, after that dinner, we went home and I was looking up at the internet and, you know, what could be the cruelty? And I found, oh my gosh, this is a lot of cruelty, even way more than even the meat industry. I was very surprised. And, uh, and we were expecting a baby at that time. So we could understand the pain uh, which cows have to go through with a constant pregnancy and, uh, uh, and the babies taking away from them and so on. So immediately turned vegan uh, overnight. And uh, and around a uh, few months after that, when because I was a software engineer working in Silicon Valley, uh, my other tech colleagues, you know, we as engineers, we try to get to the, you know, uh, nerds of it and questioning each and everything into it. So we, uh, you know, started entering into it and my colleagues started asking, how will you get calcium? How will you get protein? How will you get vitamins and so on? And that's when I learned about that a lot of issues which we are facing in, in human uh, health is actually coming because of, uh, you know, the animal industry. Uh, I mean, because of we consuming the, uh, the animal products. And, uh, and that related to me because I had the blood work uh, done before uh, turning plant-based and after turning plant-based. So my cholesterol had dropped from 199 to 99 wow. just in a few months. And uh, that was a clear result to me uh, that, hey, we could we could literally reduce our cholesterols. And that is a clear indication of, uh, you know, becoming almost like a heart attack proof. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, and, and my father had passed away from a heart attack uh, just a year before uh, us turning vegan. So, so that made a goal for me because that felt guilt in my heart that, you know, if I would have done this research uh, a year earlier, I could have reversed my father's heart disease. And there are many, many people uh, who have reversed their heart disease, reversed their diabetes, high blood pressure, even cancers on plant-based lifestyle. And, uh, and that made me, uh, you know, uh, a shift to the plant-based industry. So from that on, uh, we, we started a small plant uh, uh, to make plant-based milks and yogurts. Uh, and, and since then, we had been keeping on working. Then we, then we started uh, making a buttermilk out of peanuts. Uh, that was the world's first uh, uh, you know, product uh, which was in the market, which was made with peanuts, uh, a plant-based buttermilk. Uh, we won a couple of awards for that. And then we started the, uh, the plant-based lassies uh, as well. Okay, so, well, let, let, yeah. let's talk to Michael now about what makes Plant Veda products different from other plant-based alternatives that are out there. Sure, sounds good. So uh, first of all, I would like to just uh, mention about the, the product lines that we currently have. Uh, as Sunny mentioned, we're actually the creator of world's first vegan lassi. And that is actually uh, a multiple-time award-winning product, uh, you know, 2019 Product of the Year Award, you know, Clean Eating Magazine Award this year. Uh, so that's that's one of first line. For anybody who doesn't know what Lassi is, it's actually a probiotic yogurt drink. So it's not only a plant-based drink, but also it's actually a, 
uh, a functional drink, right? It has probiotics in there, uh, help with your digestion, and you know it's 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 a good complement to any meals that you have. So that's the first uh, uh, product line. The second product line is the coffee creamers that you can put in the coffee, you know, anytime you like. And uh, yeah, that that's that's uh, that's exactly what that is. There's there's four flavors, and then then the last one is is the uh, cashew uh, milk, basically. Mm-hmm. So, and I think what di- differentiates us uh, from everybody else is if you look at an ingredient list, you can read all of them. Whereas if you buy a different product, uh, you know, off the shelf somewhere else, there are half of the ingredients you can't re- even read them. And that mm-hmm. is important because uh, key, the, our key differentiator is if we use wholesome, real uh, plant, uh, you know, uh, based uh, products. Yeah, but, and that whole maple syrup to sweeten, I, I've never heard of that with any other um, dairy alternative. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so the, uh, you know, the, uh, uh, you know, the, you, you take the, the last year, an example, you have, uh, you know, uh, the cashew and the oats and the real fruit, like a mango or blue, uh, Canadian blueberry and, and, uh, and as well as like a maple syrup to sweeten it. Um, uh, without stripping and you know adding any kind of oil that kind of stuff so yeah so our lassies are literally a whole food plant-based uh, product uh, we don't strip out any fiber out of it uh, it has the full fiber of cashews full fiber of, of the oats um, so it has been uh, you know a fantastic product and and the way uh, we focus our product development is on uh, creating the wholesomeness so it is also great. So first importance is about the taste, that the taste has to be great. Uh, and the second is uh, uh, to, to be a health uh, product as well, instead of, you know, putting a lot of starches and gums and things like that. Mm. Okay. Well, now you recently listed in the U.S. on the OTC and announced a partnership with Cisco. That's America's biggest wholesale food distribution company. So can you tell us about Plant v- Veda's uh, future plans in the U.S. market? Sure, maybe I can chime in a little bit there. You know, uh, with Cisco, you know, Cisco obviously is one of the largest, uh, you know, food, uh, you know, services company in the world, and uh, you know, it has a tons of, uh, you know, uh, presence in the restaurant segment. And and obviously, we're coming out of a very couple of difficult years, you know, in terms in the restaurant segment due to the pandemic. You know, I'll, what we're hopeful for is, uh, you know, once the, this is all over. Uh, you know, uh, you know, we can we can have our lassies at those restaurants and, uh, you know, in thousands of restaurants uh, across North America uh, and, and beyond. So that's from the Cisco standpoint. And uh, perhaps, Sunny, you can talk about the, the uh, you know, our sampler yeah. that we have just recently released. Yeah. So we have recently uh, released a sampler pack on our website, uh, which includes all our uh, different products, including creamers and lassies. Uh, and also the cashew milk with a with a real saffron in it, uh, which is a very flavorful and amazing drink with a chuck uh, drink with the chunks of uh, pistachios as well. Um, so uh, that that is available to to order. And uh, in terms of uh, uh, what Michael mentioned of Lassi being in a restaurant, so instead of uh, you know these uh, uh, a lot of very high sugary uh, unhealthy drinks like Coke and Pepsi and and things like that. Uh, this is a perfect uh, drink, which is uh, enjoyed with the food for thousands of years, not not just today. Uh, it has been a culture uh, since many uh, centuries to have a yogurt drink along with the food so that it gives all the probiotics to digest the food really nicely. And uh, and being it plant based makes it, you know, even uh, more the merrier kind of a situation, and with uh, amazing flavors like turmeric and ginger, uh, uh, mango, uh, British Columbian uh, blueberries, mm. and strawberries, uh, it, it makes it uh, an amazing drink to pair with the food. So it is a perfect drink for restaurants. It is naturally acidic because yogurts, when we start with the cashew milk um, uh, or our uh, blended milk, uh, then we ferment it with uh, live probiotics, so that becomes acidic. Uh, so it's a, it's a perfect combination with food. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we, well, well, go ahead. Sorry. Perez would just like to add that, uh, you know, the, you know, we created this, uh, you know, simple pack in celebration of, you know, November, which is the world's vegan month, basically. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, it's actually, we're shipping that 
uh, across uh, Canada and continental United States uh, for free. Yeah, so free shipping. Yeah, so that, it's an excellent uh, offer. The other thing I want to mention quickly is uh, we were recently actually, our products actually recently were featured at TED conference in California. Uh, you know, in, in August. Yes, and the it, TED Talks, those are very, very well uh, 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 attended. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Virtually yeah. and physically. Absolutely. Yeah. And and the, 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 the feedback that we got is our, uh, especially Blueberry Lassie was literally flying off the shelf, mm-hmm. um, you know, and, and then they, 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 you know, yeah. So we're, we're looking forward to continue to do those partnerships in the future as well. Good stuff. Now, we've heard about the health benefits of the dairy alternatives, but there are environmental benefits as well. Sunny, would you like to uh, talk a little bit about that? Yeah. Uh, so, the, you know, environmental uh, reason is has been a major push uh, nowadays for becoming plant-based. It used to be ethical uh, why people were switching to a plant-based lifestyle, but now uh, environmental is the biggest reason. Uh, we are, you know, facing a massive uh, extension of uh, of the wild animals of the biodiversity, not only from the uh, life kingdom but also on the plant kingdom as well, because of the because of the huge deforestation which we are doing, uh, and ninety seven percent or even more of that deforestation is happening because of livestock. So if if we look at the land which we which we have the arable land, seventy five percent of all the arable land is taken by the by the livestock industry uh, uh, for growing animals and the food for those animals. Uh, only 25% is used to actually grow plants. So when we switch to a plant-based diet, you can think that, you know, we can swap out so much amount of land back to the rainforest, grow back all the trees uh, which we have destroyed, bring back the biodiversity, which we really need. We understand we that's a basic lesson we learned in our schools that the whole system works on the on the food chain and if we being you know the most intelligent uh, species on the planet and we kill our own food chain we are eating wrong foods <laughs> then uh, then we are going to destroy the earth so it is very important that we go back to the food chain uh, which we are designed to consume which is the plant based uh, foods and uh, and that will we will be able to uh, you know, uh, make make Earth uh, survive for a very long time. Mm, yeah, with all the talk about climate change, uh, this is a very timely topic. Uh, Michael, finally, do you have any plans to release more products in the future? Uh, absolutely. You know, our team has been working diligently on some of the secret products that we, <laughs> uh, you know, definitely um, uh, in, in the lab. But, uh, you know, very soon um, we will be releasing actually um, on November 20th and 21st at the Planted Expo uh, here in Vancouver, uh, some brand new products. And uh, so I think come, come and check us out, you know, at the Planted Expo. Yeah, okay. it, it's, uh, it's an event which... Uh... We first launched our Lassies with, uh, so it is a very important event for us uh, because of the COVID. We had been not able to participate for last two years, uh, but we are very fortunate that that's happening this year, and uh, and and we are launching um, a, a new category at that. All right, exciting times, Michael and Sunny. Thank you both very much for joining us today. Yeah. Thank you, Sunny, for having us. And for those of you who are interested in learning more about Plant Veda, you can visit plantveda.com, easy to remember. Also, you can find them on the CSC under the symbol milk and on the OTC PLVFF. Gentlemen, good luck to you both. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. And thanks to you at home for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.